Good morning, Eagles. This is the Fuse bringing the good news. Here are the announcements for Tuesday, December 18th, 2018. Hi, I'm Will Whitfield. Today at 1.30, everyone will take their Block B4 exam. You may leave at the conclusion of the exam if you have a ride ready and available. Otherwise, stay in your classroom until 3 p.m. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday are half days. Your first exam for each of these days will begin at 7.45. There'll be a break at 9.15 and then your second exam will begin at 9.30. Wednesday exams will be Block A1 classes at 7.45 and Block B1 classes at 9.30. Thursday exams will be Block A2 classes at 7.45 and Block B2 classes at 9.30. Closing out the week will be the exams for Block A3 at 7.45 and Block B3 classes at 9.30 on Friday. Here are a few other important things to keep in mind for exam week. First, if you do not have an exam at 7.45 on Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, you do not have to be here until 9.15 for the second exam. Second, no one leaves early during the 7.45 exam time. You can leave early only if you finish your second exam early during its time slot. Third, you must be in regular dress code each day. You can wear jeans on Friday, but no Christmas dress-up days this week. During this holiday season, please remember to donate a dollar to the Ordinary Hero Project. You can drop it off in either your first block class or during homeroom. Winter weather is here, so here are a few dress code reminders for you. Outerwear, jackets, hoodies, things like that should all be NCS branded and should only be worn over standard NCS dress code shirts, non-NCS outerwear, should be stored in the student's locker for the day. I'm John Owen Delavante. There's only three days left to order your copy of the 2019 Reflections Yearbooks for grades 6 through 12 before the price increases from $60 to $65 December 21st. Order your copy by going to yearbooksforever.com or by bringing your money and order form to Mr. Atkins in HS5 or to the front office. The book sold out last year, so be sure to order yours soon. If you are interested in signing up for the Australia and New Zealand trip, please do so by January 11th. We need at least six travelers to offer this trip for the summer of 2020. To check out the itinerary, please contact Coach Rob. Hey, it's Karen Natali. If you can't find your hoodie, sweatshirt, or some other piece of clothing, be aware that Lost and Found is overflowing with clothes, shoes, and other items. Please check the school offices before we head off to Christmas break because everything unclaimed will be donated. In the event of a late opening or school closing, the following media outlets will be used to notify parents. Channels 2, 4, 5, and 17, school voicemail, school website, parent alert via text, email, and voicemail, Facebook, and Twitter. Hey, it's Eli Sullivan. The Spirit Store is having a t-shirt sale this week. All t-shirts are $10. This is a great time to pick up a last minute Christmas gift. Store hours are Tuesday, 7.15 to 4, Wednesday, 7.15 to 10, Thursday 7.15 to 12, and Friday 7.15 to 10. Please make sure your cafeteria accounts are paid up before Christmas break. Please note that there will be no food service on December 20th or 21st. Hi, it's Will Taylor with Sports. On Friday night, the high school wrestling team has a match versus Benjamin Russell at 5.30. And then the basketball team has a game versus Fairview, and the girls will start at 6, and the boys will start at 7.30. Here are some sports happening during Christmas break. On the 27th and 28th, the boys and girls basketball teams will play in the Good Pasture Classic. On January 3rd, high school wrestling has a match at Page High School with Hillsboro at 5 p.m. And on January 4th and 5th, high school wrestling will wrestle in the Johnny Drennan Invitational at Father Ryan. Friday, January 4th, high school basketball team has a home game versus Good Pasture. And the girls will start at 6 and the boys at 7.30. Friday, January 4th, high school basketball has a home game versus Good Pasture. The girls game will start at 6 and the boys at 7.30. And then Saturday, January 5th, there's another home game as the Eagles will take on USN. The girls will start at 2 and the boys will start at 4. What is your favorite Christmas song? Well, Corbin, that's a pretty easy one. It has to be... Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas is You. Really? Now sing it for me. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> you gotta sing it for me. Come on, come on now. 
Nah, I'm not gonna sing for you. I'm sorry, Corbin. It's okay. What is your favorite Christmas song? The Little Drummer Boy. I've never heard that. Can you sing it for me? I cannot. Are you sure? I can, but I'm not willing to. All right, that's okay. Thank you. <laughs> and what is your favorite Christmas song? What kind of song is that? Why do we have to have everything's got to be ranked? I think that's kind of a rank question. Yeah, what's your favorite Christmas song? Silent Night. Can you sing it for me? Yes, I can. But I'm a little nervous on the air. I feel that. Thank you. What is your favorite Christmas song? Jingle Bell. You want to sing it for me? I prefer not to. You prefer not to? Yeah. All right. And what is your favorite Christmas song? Jingle Bells, the Batman version. Oh, can you sing that for me? Yeah, sure. Jingle Bells, Batman smells, Robin laid an egg. The Batmobile lost his will when Joker got away. Hey! <laughs> and what is your favorite Christmas song? Um, All I Want for Christmas by Mariah Carey. Really now, you're going to have to sing that for me. All right, it's all right. All I want for Christmas is you. Oh, God, that's <laughs> would you rather be surprised or would you rather know what the gift is? See, I'd rather be surprised, but then, like, if the surprise is bad, then, like, that's sad. But, like, rather be surprised. I agree, it could go either ways. Yeah. Do you like being surprised or would you rather know what the gift is? I like being surprised because that's the whole point of a gift. You're not supposed to know what it is. Makes sense. Thank you, Taylor. You're welcome. Do you like being surprised, or would you rather know what the gift is? I'd rather know what the gift is so I can make sure it's something I want and something I'd actually use, not something that I wouldn't want or would kind of be sad getting. So are you the, are you the type of guy that's going to, like, shake it, or are you going to, like, you know, open it, you know, open the gift a little bit? Uh, usually I might shake it, but not super hard because of something and it's fragile. I don't... So do you like being surprised, or do you, or would you rather know what the gift is? I only like being surprised if it's something that is good that I want. If I get surprised and it's not something I want, I'm not very good at faking like I like something that I don't really like. Do you like to know what the gift is, or would you rather be surprised? I like to be. I like to know what the gift is. So why is that? Because it's what I picked out. Can you say all of Santa's reindeer for me? Uh, Rudolph, Prancer, Bitson, Comet, Cupid, Donner, Dan uh, Dancer, Prancer? That's it. And name all of Santa's reindeer. Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, and Vixen, Donald, Cupid, Blinson. That's it. There you go. Thank you. All right, and name all of Santa's reindeer. Dasher, Dan. Wait, you don't. Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, and Blinson. That's all of them. And Rudolph. Thank you. Name all of Santa's reindeer for me. Donner, Blitzen, Rudolph, uh, Prancer, <laughs> Dancer. I don't know. Two more. You got it. Blitzen? That's one. Yeah. I don't know the other one. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Can you name all of Santa's reindeer? I cannot. You got Rudolph. You got Dasher. You got Dixon. A couple more. Hey, that's pretty good. More than most people. Thank you. And name all of Santa's reindeer for me. <laughs> Uh, Ruda, <laughs> Ruda, Prancer, I don't know, Vixen, uh, that's about it. That's pretty horrible, I'm not gonna lie. Today's scripture reading is gonna come from John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. I'm going to say a prayer for us, and then after that we're going to go on to the pledge. Let us pray. 
Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for everything you bless us with. We thank you for your son dying on the cross for us where we can live in eternity with you forever and just thank you for that and then thank you for us having a good day yesterday and just help us to have a good day today and just help us just to continue to do well in our midterms, Father, and just help us to have a great rest of the week and just help us to finish strong. In Jesus' name that we pray, amen. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And until next time, this is The Fuse bringing the good news. Have a good Tuesday and a good Christmas, everyone. Happy holidays and see you next year. Merry Christmas. See you next time. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Have a happy Christmas and a Merry New Year. <laughs>